Go ahead and praise him in the, in the house today. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus' name. Go on and bless him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to put on one more song. Praise God. Hallelujah. To get you ready. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
The name above all names is Jesus. Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords, his name is Jesus. Jesus. J E S U S. J-E-S-U-S J-E-S-U-S King of King King of King Lord of Lord Lord of Lord Jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some hand and praise this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just can't stop praising the name. I just can't stop praising the name. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise his name, I just can't stop. Praise his name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory, God. Glory, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. One more time. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name on this morning. Amen. Thank the Lord for another day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Thank you for the opportunity on this morning. Amen. To come to you. Amen. With our tithes and our offering. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are in your living room. Amen. In your kitchen. Amen. I don't know where you are. Amen. But you're going to hear the word of God on today. Amen. Amen, amen. We're going to give God some praise and the glory, amen. If you have your Bible with you on this morning, amen. I got a couple, of, just one scripture for you, amen. Some encouraging words for you on this morning, amen. We're going to go to John, amen. St. John, amen. 14 and 14. Once again, St. John. 14 and 14, amen. When you have it, say amen. Amen. When you have it, say amen to your neighbor at the house, wherever you are, amen. Say, say, say amen. Amen to somebody. Say amen to your pillow. Say amen to the couch. Amen. Say amen to the TV. Amen. 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 John 14 and 14 says this. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. The, the, the reason why the God led me to this the scripture here is that when we are doing God's will, when we're in his will, we obey in his word, bring your tithes into the storehouse. We can ask for what we desire. God will give you what you desire because it says right here, if we ask in his name, it says in his name. So we're asking on this morning. So you believe in this morning. You have faith this morning, amen, in your tithes and your offering, amen. You're bringing your, your tithes and your offering to a good ground here at Bethesda. You're bringing good seed here. So while you're bringing good seed here, you God is have to bless you. He's going to bless you, amen. Over in St. Mark 5 and 35, you don't have to turn there. It says, be not afraid, only believe. Be not afraid, only believe. Then we go over to uh, Mark uh, 11 and 22. It says, have faith in God. When you prepare your tithes and your offering, amen, 
Just know that God is going to make a way. In spite of the situation, in spite of the battle, be not afraid, only believe. A couple of encouragement words I want to have for you today. It is God's will for you to have increase. It is God's will for you to have increase. Amen? A couple more things. In 2 Corinthians 2 and 7, Paul said it like this. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. Trusting in God on today because you are a tither. You're a believer. You're trusting in God. You're planting that seed on this one. You're giving to a good foundation here at Bethesda. You're, you're giving that seed. You're obeying God's word. Amen. And I have one thing, couple things to say to you. Set your faith in agreement with the promise. Set your faith in agreement with the promise. Amen? I'm going to say it one more time. Set your faith in agreement with the promise. Amen? Amen. God is good. Amen. And one more thing I got for you. God is blessing. God is blessing. Amen? God is faithful. God is faithful. Amen? And I'm going to go ahead and pray over the offering right now. Amen? Amen. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for this offering that we receive on this morning. We thank you, Father God, that we're being obedient to your word. We thank you, Father God, that you're fighting our battles. We thank you, Father God, that, that, that you're in the seeding, Father God, of what you have for us, God. Because we are tied payers. payers. We're givers, Father God. We're giving from our heart, Father God. We're trusting and believing in you, God. Lord, you're going to fight our battles, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, I ask you, Father God, bless every tithe payer, every seed offering that's coming, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, God. I bless them, Father God. Multiply it, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In spite of, Father God, we're going to give you the praise today. We're going to magnify your name today, God. As the man of God come forth today, God. As the world go forth today, Father God. We're going we're gonna to magnify your name. We're going we're gonna to lift you up today, God. In the name of Jesus, we're going to praise you today, God. Because you are God and you are able, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we love you, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We know you're fighting our battles right now, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you the praise. We give you the glory, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we say, thank you, Lord. We say, thank you, Lord. Come on, put your hands together and say, thank you, Lord. 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 For your healing. For your blessing. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you the praise for the agreement, Father God, with you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We praise you, Father God, and we magnify your name in Jesus' name. Let's say amen. Amen. Uh, God bless you. We've been deceived by the devil too long. We're going to tear that devil's kingdom down. What he said was his. Church, it's been ours all along. Tonight, we're going to tear that devil's kingdom down.
going up to the high places. You know the church today. Hallelujah. The church today Thank you, is engaged in a spiritual warfare. Yes. And the battle goes on between the kingdom of darkness and the army of God. Come on. And there is no demilitarized zone. You're either on the devil's side or you're on the Lord's side. Now we know that the Lord Jesus Christ has won the ultimate victory at Calvary. We know that, don't we? But our mission, our mission is to enforce and maintain all that Jesus purchased for us at Calvary. There's a lot of things that the devil has stolen away from the church. Health, prosperity, peace in our homes and our communities, righteousness in our government. These are things the devil has stole. But as the army of God, we're taking them back. Amen. Are you with me? Are you with me tonight? Are you with me right now? Well, let's go up to the high place and tear that devil down. Oh, yeah. Come on, church. Let's go right now.
make a joyful noise, all you people. Sing a song to the Lord of His goodness and His mercy. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take this praise make a to a whole nother level. In the name of Jesus, I believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. If we already are in those high places, now the thing we got to do, we got to actually tear his kingdom down. Come on and put your hand together and give him some praise. The Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. In the name of Jesus. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you something. Light and darkness cannot exist in the same space. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when we praise God, when we worship God, it puts the devil on notice. He knows he got to go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So help me praise him this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Sing a song. Thank you, Lord. God is good. He's faithful. Come on. Jesus name we give God the praise father we thank you we thank you Lord God hallelujah glory to God hallelujah for our life our health and our strength we praise you father God for giving us another day we worship you Lord God this is the day that you made and we shall rejoice and be glad in this father God in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you for all those that are present today in your sanctuary we thank you for those who are viewing father God via Facebook live and via YouTube we bless right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, them, Father God. And we say that they have ears to hear what your spirit is in fact saying unto the church. I ask your anointing upon me, glory to God, as I share the word of the kingdom with these, your beloved sheep. Now we come against every foe to faith in, the, in every spirit that will try to hinder us, that will try to impede us, that will try to resist our progress. We rebuke them and we cast them down in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you, Father, for giving us good success in this endeavor. And those that agree, say amen. amen. Praise God. God bless you. You can have your seats. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know. Praise God. We give God the praise. We thank God. Amen. For you, you and you. It's good to have, amen, some people in the sanctuary with us. Amen. We got some of the brothers. Amen. And one thing about brothers, brothers represent strength. Amen. In the church. Amen. And so we give God the praise. I know many of you have seen the title already of the message as we let it slide over the screen. And then you probably said, amen, that's the, he messed up. That's the same title. No, I just wanted to bring part two of what I was preaching on last week. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. My spirit is full up. Praise God. And God just wants to give us deeper revelation. Amen. Concerning. Amen. What he is saying unto the church today. Amen, 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 amen. Before I go into the message, I just uh, looked at my notes, amen, glory to God, my calendar, and I come to realize, amen, glory to God, that uh, we, we endeavor to open up at the end of May, which is the 30th. But I think it's more appropriate by way of the spirit that we go ahead and open up on the 23rd of May because that is Pentecost Sunday. Praise God. Amen. I think that would be a better representation of our faith in the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. And we, we, who knows? God may just give us one of them good, strong, powerful Pentecost messages. Praise God. Amen. So we can turn. We, well, you know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. We give God the praise. Would you open your Bibles today? Amen. To the book of Proverbs. Amen. That'd be a good place to start off today. Amen. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. The book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter four. 
Praise God. We give God the praise for First Lady. Amen. She's operating this, everything behind the scenes. Praise God. Amen. I kind of stepped on her toes, start doing stuff. Amen. <laughs> she's, amen. But she's, I thank God for her. Amen. She's, amen, willing, amen, to learn. Amen. And she is learning. Amen. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Thank God for Minister Allen. Amen. And did a, a marvelous job of lifting our and receiving our our Sunday morning tithes and offerings, praise God. And we want to thank you out there, amen, in video land for inviting us into your homes, praise God. We do realize that there's many places you could be right now, but you decided, amen, to be right here with us, praise God, worshiping and hearing the word of the kingdom. Are we in Proverb? Amen, praise God. Proverb chapter 4 and verse 23 says, To keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. A amen, glory to God. You can go with me to another place, amen, glory to God, amen, to Matthew, no, to John, excuse me, John chapter 7, John chapter 7. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 7. And verse 37. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 7, verse 37. Says, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Usually we stop right there. But to delve right on into what we're going to be talking about today and preaching about, we're going to include verse 39. Verse 39 says, But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. A amen, somebody. I'm here to let you know Jesus has been glorified. When it uses the word glorified, it's talking about him being crucified and raised from the dead three days later and, amen, ascending in heaven to sit at the right hand of the majesty on high. Amen. Glory to God. Now, dealing with, amen, putting all this together and, amen, piggybacking on what we ministered last Sunday, Talking, mentioning, uh, using the title of, are you an importer or an exporter? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It would behoove us, amen, to look back at what our foundational scriptures were last week, and then we'll put all the, tie all this together, and, and then the Holy Ghost said the same, we just let it rip, preach, and teach. Praise God. In Zechariah chapter 4, verse 1, it says, And the angel that talked with me came again and walked and, and waked me. He wake, woke me up as a man that is wakened out of his sleep and said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold, a candlestick of all gold with a bowl upon the top of it. So the first thing you need to see is a candlestick. And then you need to see this bowl that's on top of this candlestick. And it says, and it has seven lamps thereon. This lamp is similar to the same lamp, amen, that lit up the holy place so that the high priest or the priest, amen, glory to God, that tended to the tabernacle could see within, see what was going on in that holy place that would lead it, lead them on to the most holy place or the holy of holies. Amen. Yeah. It, it is describing this. This, this candlestick that's got seven lamps on it. And then it talks about it has seven pipes that's leading to these seven lamps that's on the top thereof. 
And so if I can paint this picture once again, glory to God, a amen, glory to God. So we have this, this, this candlestick, we call that a menorah, amen. And then it's got seven pipes going to each candle that's on this candlestick. There's seven, there's, a, there's pipes leading to them. But then on top of that is one bowl. Come on, somebody. So now we see a bowl at the top with seven pipes coming out from it. Now we know what the purpose of a pipe is. The purpose of a pipe is to, is to, to be like a conduit for something to flow through it. Oh, Y'all ain't hearing me in this place. I said, there's a bowl that's got seven pipes coming out of it, leading to seven candlesticks. And the purpose of a pipe coming from the bowl is so that something can flow through the pipes. So it goes without saying the bowl is supplying the pipes. They're supplying the candle Amen. to keep the candles lit. He says the seven pipes, the seven lamps, which on the top thereof. And then he says he looks and he sees in verse three and two olive trees by it. One upon the right side of the bowl and the other on the left side thereof. And so let's look at this picture again. We have an olive tree, two olive trees, one on the right, one on the left. Amen. I'm doing it this way because, you know, for video is opposite. Amen. Glory to God. And then we have a bowl. We have amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Olive trees on the right hand, on the left hand. Glory to God that are supplying oil to this bowl. Then we have seven pipes coming from this bowl, supplying each candle. Amen, somebody. And then the question is asked. What is this? And the angel that was talking to Zechariah says, don't you know what these be or knowest thou not what these be? And he said, no, my Lord. Then the angel answered and spake unto me, saying, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Who is Zerubbabel? Zerubbabel is the king. Amen. That God has anointed to facilitate the rebuilding of the Lord's temple. Amen. He's the king. Now, and he says, uh, 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 this is the word unto the Lord, unto Zerubbabel, saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. You need to understand what God is saying to us today. If I can, if I can, if you, if you can just lend me just a few minutes of your precious time. I'll get you to understand what's really happening here and why it's necessary for God to speak that way to them. You have to understand, glory to God, that the children of, at the time that the original tabernacle was built, praise God. David was king. And what and if you recall, David asked God to let him build the temple. But God said, no, not you, but your son going to do it. So, but David, wanting to have a hand in the process, a part of it, he wanted to contribute. Come on, somebody. He began to give and give and give. He gave from the king's treasury, and then he gave from his own personal Amen. Glory to God. Bank account, if you will. And as a result of his amen giving. His leaders, the people, they caught hold of a spirit of giving. Has she and they begin to give. And so therefore, the, the, when in Solomon's time, amen, when they begin to build this, when they built this tabernacle for the Lord, it was elaborate. It was beautiful. It was filled with costly, amen, amen, costly things like gold, silver, bronze, all types of ornate jewels. It was, it was beautiful. It was huge. It was large. But since the time of Solomon, amen, glory to God, the children of Israel had experienced, amen, bondages of sorts. 
through the Babylonians and through the Syrians, they had all kind of, and the tabernacle, the original tabernacle had gotten torn down. It had gotten destroyed. And so we see that God, amen, glory to God, is anointing people. To, to, the, the Zerubbabel and Zechariah the prophet to get this house of God built again. But the people, are, 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 they're not as strong as they used to be. They're not in the same, they don't have the same size army that they used to have. Ah, you, you got to understand what's going on. They, they didn't have the monies that they used to have. Glory to God. And God tells them, don't you worry. It's going to get built. It's going to get built. And God begins to let them know, glory to God, before you had military might, before you had man's resources, but now we're going to do it a different way. He says, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Glory to Jesus' name. And I like the way he, what he said in verse 7. Because it seemed like he, he knew something that Jesus was going to talk about. He says, and who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You know, Jesus told us that we can speak to the mountain. And as long as we had no doubt in our heart, the mountain would come down, glory to God. It said it would obey everything we say. Come on. As long as glory to God. Hallelujah. We didn't have no doubt in our heart. And so I'm going to piggyback on what I said last week. Glory to God. Are you an importer or are you an exporter? Look, let, let's get back to the picture. you got to understand, praise God. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost already. you got to understand something. You see, see, this week I was employed in my backyard doing the gardening and things, and I began to look up the proper way to care for your grass and stuff like that. And I know somebody say, that, Pastor, that should be automatic. Well, well anybody know how to cut grass, but how do, do you know how to keep it? And so I learned, glory to God, you put the weed in feed. But when, and you would think that the weed in feed kills the weeds. But I learned something. I learned that the weed in feed causes the grass to grow and to fill up all the blank spaces so that the weeds don't have a place to plant themselves. You got to understand something. You got to understand something. See, the problem with some folk, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. They're, they're, they're like what Jesus spoke about in the book of Mark. Hallelujah. They got thorns and all kind of stuff growing. Right in, and, and, and what it's doing is messing with the flow, glory to God, in their life. But I'm here to let you know God is a supernatural God. He's a supernatural God. And he expects you and I to stop trying to live from the outside, but to live from the inside out. Help me preach somebody. I'm here to ask this question once again. Are you an importer or an exporter? Come on. We, we established last Sunday that the position of the exporter is a position that's greater than the importer. The person that's an importer, he has to import stuff because he lacks the natural resources. Come on, somebody uh, that, that, that for, for in the country that he lives or the country that he's a citizen of. They like so they have to try to get it from someplace else outside of their country. But the one that is an exporter. They've got a glut, come on somebody, of resources. They've got more than enough. Come on. They're, they live in the overflow. They got enough for themselves and enough for somebody else. Are you an importer or an exporter? They function in the abundance. Come on somebody. They function in the abundance. You've got to understand what God is saying. God is letting us know that it's time for you and I to start functioning from the inside out. Come on somebody. we got to become exporters and stop importing. Hold on for a second. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel this thing. Now let's get back to that picture. That Zechariah was being shown by that angel. You got to understand that bowl that had the seven pipes that was that was that was supplying oil to these lamps. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you got to understand there was two olive trees that was supplying the bowl. But you do you understand the bowl was in a stationary position? Oh God. And nothing would come out of the bowl. Until 
the bowl overflowed. See, it's when the bowl overflowed that it had the supply to supply the oil to the lamps. What God is saying to you and I, it's time to live in that overflow. It's time to, 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 it's time to do whatever we got to do to, to choke out everything, to not give the seeds of doubt, to not give the seeds of worry, to not let, come on somebody, a place to grow in us. That the God is telling us, come on somebody, to do whatever you got to do to be, to get that miracle grow, oh God, working on you, glory to God. So that other junk ain't got no place to plant itself inside you. See, if you believe on Jesus as he has said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. It's time out for looking here and looking there and expecting some from them and some from them when everything you need is inside of you already. Somebody say amen. amen, amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. First Corinthians chapter two and verse nine says this. It says, I have not seen. Come on, somebody. It says, ear have not heard. Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. You got to understand, beloved, we got to start living from the inside out. We got to become, get to the place of exporting, oh God help me, of exporting things. See, God has tremendous things prepared for my life in your life. I was at a conference one year. First lady and I and the sister was preaching and she had an altar call and they, everybody rushed. To, it was hundreds of us there. And she turned around and looked at me and first lady and said, you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You ain't seen nothing yet. And for some reason that, that just came up in my spirit right now. First lady, we ain't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've seen some great things. We've seen some powerful things. We've seen God do some tough, some my, my God, some mighty good thing. But in compared to what God is getting ready to do, we ain't seen nothing yet. Praise the Lord. But not by power, not, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. I hear the voice of the Lord saying, even as you embrace me even as you draw near to me even as you allow me glory to God to flow through your life glory to God I will be glorified in the name of Jesus and people will look upon you and they will see me in your life saith the Lord in the name of Jesus now give God some praise right now somebody give him some praise right now hallelujah hallelujah glory to God Thank you, Jesus. God is not finished with us yet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God wants you and I to continue to grow, Minister Allen. God wants you and I to continue to grow. Amen. Glory to God, Brother Horton. Amen. God wants you and I to continue to grow. He's got a plan for you, Elder Patterson, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, God, he plans his work and his works His this is in his works. They, they work. Glory to God. His his plans work, praise God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Now I got to settle down, glory to God, because that, that thing is pushing on me. I got to settle down. Number one, the bowl was not the source. Uh-uh. The, the bowl was not the source of the oil. The source of the oil was the green olive trees. Oh, God help me. Hallelujah, glory to God. It's like the green olive trees. I feel like preaching. Glory to God. In, in Matthew chapter 12. Let's get there. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching. Glory to Jesus name. Help me, Father. Help me, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus name. Let some more people come up in here. I will preach and I will preach. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In, in Matthew chapter 12, hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, verse 33, Jesus says this. He says, either make the tree good and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt for the tree is known by its fruit. 
These were olive trees. <laughs> the angel declared that they were olive trees. Zechariah looked at them and he saw that they were olive trees. How did he know they were olive trees? By the fruit and by the produce of the fruit. In other words, there were some good trees. Come on, somebody. Provided, therefore, if the tree was good, it was providing good oil. Come on, somebody. To keep them lamps good and lit. You got to understand something here. You got to hear where I'm going with this here. Amen. See what the deal is. You got to know your power source in the name of Jesus. I said, you got to know your power source. A -a Amen. Glory to God. You got to know your power source. Your power source is not the United States. The power source is not the governor of California. Your power source ain't whoever the mayor of your municipality is. Your power source ain't even your job. Your power source. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's got to be Jesus. Come on. Somebody, somebody say J-E-S-U-S. -S. Your power source is Jesus. Jesus said, he that believeth on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Help me preach. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Paul said it this way. Well, the book of Daniel said it this way. In Daniel chapter 11, I know I'm going fast. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32 says this. The people that do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploits. Come on, somebody. And so glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you have a desire to do some big things, to do some impossible things for God. Amen. The things he calls exploits, then you got to know your power source. Come on, somebody. You got to know your power source. Pa Paul said it this way in, in Philippians 3 and 10. I'm going to read it from the Amplified. He said, for my determined purpose is that I might know him, <laughs> that I might progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him. Come on, somebody. See, see, some folk know where their boss is. They know where they check come from. They, 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 they know all these different things. But do you know him? Because I'm here to tell you, come on, somebody, that, that they're not your source. They're merely your resource. And, and some of y'all, glory to God, God didn't really cut that resource off, but you still struggling to stay where you at. Woo God is saying, I got more for you. Come on, somebody. God says, I got more for you. Glory to God. But because you're afraid of the unknown, you're afraid of that thing which you're not accustomed to. You still staying in Lodabar when I didn't told you to come and eat at the king's table. Somebody give God some praise up in this place. Hallelujah. He said to be become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him and that I may in the same way come to know the power. Listen, Brother Reggie, the power that's outflowing from his resurrection. Come on, somebody that's outflowing from his resurrection. In other words, glory to God, talking about the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. In other words, when that resurrection power is in you and is functioning in you, you can't stay down. It couldn't keep Jesus down. Jesus was certifiably dead. He was so certifiably dead, there was no need to break his bones. He was certifiably dead. But the Bible says when they put him in the tomb, the borrowed tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, placed a big boulder in front of it, placed some guards there, they thought it was over. But I'm here to tell you that was just the start. Because inside there, glory to God, be, 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 be beyond the, amen, the, the view, glory to God, of, of more, mere mortal men, Jesus was went down to hell and said, now devil, hallelujah, you don't know what you was doing. The Bible says if they had known what they was doing they would not have even crucified the Lord of glory he went down in hell glory to God and told the, de told the devil all right now now we meet him face to face you talked all that smack behind my back now say it to my face y'all ain't hear me up in this place say it to my face give me back everything you stole it's like that song was trying to tell us we're going up to the high places the devil been lying he's been deceiving for too long 
wrong. Amen, glory. We're here to reclaim everything the devil stole. We got to tear his kingdom down. Glory to Jesus' name. And it's not going to be done by man's ways. It's not going to be done by the laws. It's not going to be done by none of that. But it's going to be done by the spirit of God in the name of Jesus. See, God is commissioned. I feel like preaching. God is commissioning intercessors. God is commissioning people who are going to stand on the wall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And make a declaration. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There are, there are some good trees that's going to open up their mouth. Glory to God. And, and decree and declare what thus said the Lord. Somebody say amen up in this place. You got to know your source. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we got to know our source. And then we got to be filled with this spirit of God. And we got to have this mentality, Elder Patterson, of greater works. A -a -a Amen, glory to God. You see, Paul, he desired uh, to know the Lord in the power of his resurrection. Hallelujah, glory to God. But if you rec recall, Jesus told his disciples he wanted them to receive some more power. Come on. He told him he wanted them re to receive power from on high. Glory to God. And so he gave them an instruction. I'm already in Pentecost. He gave them an instruction to go and wait. Come on, somebody to go and wait. Praise God. Hallelujah. In other words, keep your, you know, be anticipating a move of God. Be expecting something. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in John chapter 14 and verse 12, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. Remember, I told you he that believeth on me out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But look what Jesus said. He says, he that believeth on me, the works that I, well, come on, somebody. He shall do also and greater works than these he shall do. Because I go unto, no, 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 which brings me back to this image of Zechariah. You've got two olive trees. And really, the deal is they're representing the kingly and the priestly anointing. But I, I, I don't have time to go to delve into that, that too deep today. But, but, but you have these true trees. There's only feeding one bowl. <laughs> it's only feeding one bowl. But that one bowl is feeding seven candlesticks. That sounds like what Jesus said. Greater works. In other words, there's only one of me. <laughs> but out of one of me shall be many of you. Greater works. See, that's what Jesus expects us to do. Come on, somebody. He wants us to yield to the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. See, are you an importer or an exporter? See, when you're an importer, you don't think you have what you need. But when you know you got what you need. My God. Overflow. Somebody shout overflow. overflow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, is this the Holy Ghost? It's these greater works. It's this, this, this Holy Spirit dwelling within us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That allows us, amen, glory to God. Once we embrace the fact that we already got it and we're not trying to go get it. Oh, God, help me. Glory to God. We are now candidates, amen, and for the greater works. Amen. So, so, so we got to know who our source is. Come on, somebody. Who is the Lord? Then we got to be filled with the spirit. Amen. We got to have this mindset of greater works. In other words, you got to say, you got to look at your situation you know, and say, you know what? I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. And I'm not talking about some mantra and I'm not talking about some slogan that any man can use. I'm talking about you're basing your slogan. You basing you're basing your confession of faith on the word of God. How, how, come on, somebody that that word, hallelujah, which is incorruptible, that word that lives and, and abides forever. That word that 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 same word in which you were born again. Hallelujah. Glory. The incorruptible. In other words, can't nothing outside of you mess that word up. Greater works. Somebody say greater works. greater works. Hallelujah. Secondly, I mean, thirdly, you got to believe. Hallelujah. Talking about this exporters. You got to believe that with God, all things, Minister Allen, is possible. 
I said, you got to believe that with God, all things are possible. Amen. We were on the, on the phone on, on Friday, glory to God, during our prayer meeting. And there's a brother in our church, glory to God. He received a word from the Lord about two years ago that he was going to buy the home he lived in that he was currently renting. Amen. Glory to God. And so after service, without uh, further ado, he went to and called his landlord and told the landlord, hey, a amen. When you're ready to sell this house, I'll buy it from you. Now, I'm here to tell you, not trying to, I'm not going to put his business out there in the street. But but, you know, when you get ready to purchase a home, there's certain things that you have to have in order. He did not anticipate, amen, that the that the owner of the property was going to give him an affirmative answer as fast as you know, as she did. He was trying to get his stuff together. He was trying to get his credit score to a certain level. He was trying to put the money in the bank. He was trying to iron out wrinkles here and there. A amen. Glory to God. But once again, the, 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 the anointing of Zechariah was present, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. So you got to understand something. Glory to God. When God gave him the word, God didn't say, now you got to go do this. You got to go do that. You got to go do this. Make sure you save that. Make sure you put this up. Make sure you do that, this, that, and all these other stuff. God, hey, God said, God didn't never tell him none to do that. God just said, just believe what I said. You got to understand something. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He took God at his word. You got to understand. Jesus said, my words are spirit and they are life. Glory to God. So when you get a word from God, you've got the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. You got to believe. So while he's trying to arrange things by power and by might, the Holy Ghost influenced the thoughts of the landlord. And she took and put tens of thousands of dollars in his bank account to make him qualify for the loan to get his house. Y'all ain't hearing me up in this place. I'm talking about not by might, nor by power. But by my spirit, saith the Lord. Somebody praise him up in here. You got people coming to church today. I don't know who this is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. You got people coming to church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know who this is, but they welcome to come up in here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody must have heard something say, hey, I'm going to get me some of that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Looking good, too. Praise the Lord. 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 We come to tear the devil's kingdom down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So you got to believe that all things is possible. And then he testified the other day. He said, Pastor, you know what? I said, what? He said, God did this. And he gave me thoughts about that and some things in his, on a personal level. Then he and I was discussing and he went through with it. Now his mortgage payment is less than what he was paying for rent. Y'all ain't hearing me preach up in this place. Don't tell me. Somebody shout, won't he do it? Shout it like you mean it. Won't he do it? Don't hate, participate. You got to understand God is not a respecter of person. If he did it for that person, God ain't ran out of miracles. God ain't ran out of blessings. God ain't ran out of resources. Remember the olive trees that's applying. The, the, come on, somebody. The oil to the bowl. The bowl is overflowing. It's flowing to the lamps. God ain't running out. See, if I could preach it, if I, if I had enough time, I would sum all that up. What that means is total provision and continual supply. It means, glory to God, when you're in God, there is no lack. When you're in God, hey, when you're in God, praise God, there's no running out. When you're in God, I don't know, as long as you stay close to the Lord, as long as you stay leaning on him to his unchanging hand, glory to God, everything God got for you, you will have it. Now, somebody praise him up in the please hallelujah hallelujah glory to God thank you what am I talking about I'm basing what I'm saying is found in the word Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 says that God is able come on somebody or meaning he has the ability it don't say he had the ability it says he has the ability he is Able. Oh, come on, let's get into the word. Is. Is is a verb of being. It speaks to the state of the thing. It's a state of being. 
In other words, no matter where you find yourself, God is made up. God is. No matter how tough it look, as long as you believe on him, he is able. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to what? The power that works in us. Oh, shakanda la boca shanda. Y'all got to understand what's happening. I'm speaking in tongues. Glory to God. The Bible says this is how you get your power source built up. This is how you get it going. You get it generated. The Bible says you build up yourself in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Some of you talk in English too much. And when you talk in English and pray in English, the devil slips in. Hallelujah. Because you leave a gap and he's able to plant seeds of doubt. But when you're praying in the Holy Ghost, uh, you're like a certain that putting weed and feed uh, on your lawn. Uh, you're putting miracle grow uh, on your lawn. Uh, you're causing the sunlight to shine on your lawn. Uh, so my God, so it grows up. Uh, my God, the way it's supposed to grow up. Uh, can somebody in here pray in tongue for a minute? In that animal, shakanda, shakanda la bakatobo, shande, shakanda la bashanda. Somebody came in here. I said somebody came in here today. Hey. Somebody came in here with a need. Somebody. I said somebody. Sister Sesam. Bring me your microphone. I need to preach. Bring me your microphone. This thing, I ain't feeling this thing. Thank you, sir. He shakatola mondo. I feel like preaching up in here. God is. It may look like you're left behind, but God still is. He's never lost an inch of power. He never lost a drop of power. He never lost an ounce of power. God is. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody help me preach today? In the name of Jesus. Today is your day of exportation. God is importing to you out of his abundance. It's flowing into your spirit spirit God is asking somebody to open up their mouth and export some expectation export some expectation export some promises export what you need open up your mouth give him praise let the Lord know that I know what you done for me you have never left me you have never forsook me I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna wait on the Lord my strength gonna be renewed I will mount up with wings like eagles I shall run and not grow weary I shall walk and never faint I will wait on the Lord thank thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you, Lord. Hey, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, glory. You got to believe that with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You got to understand something. God says, hallelujah, with me nothing shall be impossible. Come on, somebody. See, God is trying to remind you that we have a relationship, a vital relationship with the one who makes the impossible possible. Come on, y'all ain't hearing me in this place. See, some of y'all are looking for a sermon, but I came with a message. Come on, somebody. I said some folk be looking for a sermon, but I came with a message. God is the one that makes the impossible possible. You got to understand when we look at the heroes of faith, we find that God promised them, each and every one of them, 
time that I will be with you. You got to understand something. God was with David. David told Goliath, one day I was tending my father's sheep. A lion came one day. A bear came another day. And the spirit of God came on me. And I killed the lion. And I killed the bear. Come on somebody. And then he told Goliath, the same God that delivered me from the paw of the bear and the paw of the lion. The same God. He's going to deliver me from the hand of Goliath. I feel an anointing, Minister Allen. Can you not remember the days when you didn't know how you was going to make it? I'm talking about the days and when you had just got down here from Seattle, Washington. And you had to work all kind of odd jobs, underpaying jobs, but yet you believed God. Come on, somebody. Your praise didn't go down. Your worship didn't wane, but you yet believed God, who the God that speaks to things that be not as though they were. You yet believed God, and you took some lessons that God taught you, and you begin to talk to inanimate things. You begin to talk to machines because you had a revelation that I can confess a thing and a decree a thing and it shall be established unto me and so when the machine tried to tell you that you was relegated to being a sweeper you told the machine I got news for you the spirit of the living God is on the inside of me and I got news for you you take this word I will operate you one day I'm going to operate you to show you that I've got power over you to show you that you don't have power over me I got power over you somebody say amen, amen. hallelujah so the giants they didn't they didn't matter to David and then there's Noah. Yeah, and God told Noah, you build an ark. Something man ain't never seen before. You, because I'm a sin of flood. Nobody's seen a flood before. But by faith in the word that he received, he began to build. I'm sure he was ridiculed, but he kept on building. I'm sure he was cussed out, but he kept on building. If he was in this day and age, the city he would try to in the code enforcement would try to mess with him but he kept on building y'all ain't gonna hear me preach in the name of Jesus when the haters and the doubters stop supporting glory to God his vision he didn't stop building he kept on building and so the flood did not matter and then you see Abraham up in age been promised a son his age didn't bother him his age didn't stop him because he had a word from God and I'm here to tell somebody this is what no Jones said all you need is a word from God in the name of Jesus all you need is a word from the Lord see God is still doing he's doing the impossible God is still your way maker God is still your miracle worker God is still your promise keeper he's your light in the middle of the darkness when you can't see your way his word is a lamp unto your feet and is a light unto your pathway. Somebody praise him up in this place. Glory. Glory. We're going to export some things that God put inside of us. We're going to lose some things. You got to become and endeavor to become a giant in faith. In John chapter 6, Amen. verse 28, the disciples asked Jesus, they said, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? The Jesus answered in the very next, work, next verse. He said, this is the work of God that you believe on him, Minister Allen, and whom he sent. See, that takes us back. Back to 
one of our opening amen verses. As long as you believe on him, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water in the name of Jesus. You see today, glory to God, that faith, hallelujah, glory to God, that, that faith, amen, that substance of things hoped for, that evidence of things not seen, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. You got to understand somebody, it is only by faith that what you're hoping for will in fact manifest. See today, I, I got to deal with this, today your body might be sick. You might be having some issues about right now. Your finances might be messed up or in shambles. Or your mind might be getting tormented by fear and worry. Hallelujah. But glory to God. Hallelujah. What I want you to know, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God. God is saying to you and I, out of your own belly is the solution to your dilemma. You need not look very far because the word is nigh thee it's in your heart and in your mouth which is the word of faith which we preach you got to understand where I'm going with this Jack in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God there's nowhere in the Bible where God wanted his people I'm talking about we're New Testament folk where God wanted his people to walk around poor where God wanted his people to walk around sick and defeated didn't never happen not old testament not new testament saints you got to understand that the only reason brother patrick that god's people have been broke disgusted and busted and worried and sick is because they did not do what god said they should do or either they did not do what he told them to do the way he told them to do it in the first place now somebody bless him right now hallelujah glory to jesus name i said glory to jesus name don't try to shout me down when i'm preaching good you see now you 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 can coast along in life just like everybody else but i believe glory to god that there's some folks that got a desire to raise up glory to god and become giants in their faith and do exploits for god they're going to be exporting some exploits they're going to say what they want based on what God said they have or based on God, what God said he wants them to have or to experience. They're going to write it down, take a piece of magnetic something and fix it to the refrigerator and every time they walk by, they're going to get a subliminal my God glimpse of a promise from God. Y'all ain't hearing me up in this place. Hallelujah, glory to God. And my God, you got to attend to the word of God. I'm trying to get done. I know we, we, we've been doing this for a minute. I, I'm trying to deal with something. In Proverbs, amen, glory to God. For chapter 4 and verse 22, 23, the word reads this way. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine. See, you got to put it on your refrigerator. You got to put it on your cabinets. You got to put it on your mirror in your bathroom. Some of y'all women, when you're taking all that time to do your mascara and whatever y'all do put something in front of you off to the side you may not be focusing on it but your mind will catch it put a ah yes put a promise from God out there hallelujah glory to God let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of your heart for watch it what it says for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Yes. Hallelujah. I say it's up to us. As to how much power. How much power. We experience. As we feed on the word of God. As we speak it. Y'all catching something today? As we speak it. As we act on it. The word of God will become a reality. To us. And the power in the word of God will drive out fear, failure, sickness, and disease. I'm trying to, to finish this up. You got to put your foot on the promise of God. I think minister, I'm taking that from Minister Allen. I think he I think he he said something like that today. Amen. Glory to God. In the book of Joshua, chapter one. You don't you don't have to turn. If you feel like turning there, you go ahead. Amen. Glory to God. But I won't be that far. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. The Bible tells us in Joshua chapter 1, 
and verse one, it says, now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake. He gave Joshua a word. He spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister. Come on, somebody. Moses' minister saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, into the land which I do give them. Unto the land which I do give them. Y'all ain't hear me. And unto the land which I do give to them. Even to the children of Israel. Now this is what you got to catch. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I about to give you. Mm -mm. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -mm. Every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. Somebody say it's already done. But I got to move. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. You got to put your foot on the promise. You got to understand. This was not the first time that God invited the children of Israel. <laughs> to venture off into the promised land. But the first time, they disobeyed God. They didn't believe God. They rebelled against God. So they received a divine sentence of going around in circles, doing loops and figure eights in the wilderness for 40 years until all those doubters died. Come on somebody. See God gave them a choice but they chose wrong. God has given us a choice today. You can choose to live from the outside and become an importer or you can, you, you can live from the inside and export all the promises of God out into your life. There's a scripture. I'm ahead of myself, and I'm trying to come in for a close. But it says like this. It says, but we have this treasure. Come on, somebody. In earthen vessels. That the glory might be of God. Or that the power might be of God. And not of us. Come on, somebody. What this is saying is, God in his infinite wisdom, did not want you or I to be left without anything. Come on, somebody. He's our total provision, and he's our continual supply. Look at that image of the two olive trees pouring oil into the one bowl, and the pipes, the conduits flowing into each lamp. As long as that candlestick stayed positioned, where it was supposed to be, oil continued to flow and it continued to stay lit. Come on, somebody. God is telling you and I to stay in the place of faith. Stay in the place where we walk by faith, not by sight. Continue in that place where we depend on the Lord. I need some music because I'm trying to shut this down. Hallelujah. Any, anything that's soft, uh, put the anointing, anointing. I don't know what number that is. Anointing, fall on me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see, real success is not in anywhere out here. 
It's in here. God has set you up for success. Oftentimes we, amen, bring it down some. Oftentimes we get in a hurry and we want to help God out. And we move out of turn and we find ourselves. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus' name. Give it up, turn it up just a little bit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But God is saying, if you keep your hand in his hand, inferring that bond, that relationship that you should have in him, and trust him. Yes, there's times where he leads you into some dark places. David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He said, but I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You've got to understand that God is with you. The question is, are you going to be with him? Come on, somebody. You see, oftentimes we want God to do what we want. But God wants us to do what he wants. Our confession of faith cannot be based upon our personal, individual desire. The Bible said he gives us the desires of our heart. But if he gives us the desires of our heart, you must understand that's saying that it, the desire must come from him. Turn, up, turn it up just a little bit, baby. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have preached out. I've preached what you gave me to say. Father, we desire to live from the inside out. We desire to be importers and not exporters. Change us, God, as we yield to your spirit, as we yield to your promptings. We renew our mind to your truth. We renew our mind to what we heard today. And we do our due diligence to release it into our lives. I speak healing and wholeness over Bethesda. I speak promise. I speak a bright future. I, pre I speak increase in the name of Jesus. I speak healing. If there's anyone sick, I speak healing over your life. Oh, glory. In the name of Jesus. If there's anyone in need of a job, I speak employment for you. Let's just enjoy the presence of the if Lord. If there's someone that has a business and that business is still oh, on that ground floor, I speak increase in your business. I speak thoughts of witty inventions. I speak concepts precepts and principles to help your business thrive in the name of Jesus. I call deep under deep. I call to out to your customers to come, to come, to come. Flow into your business. I speak blessings over every tither, every offerer, I speak blessings over the obedient in the precious name of Jesus. I speak to every minister. I say the miracle is in your mouth. You servants of the Lord. Your miracle is in your mouth. I speak blessings over every deacon in the name of Jesus. As you work in the house of God, behind the scenes, not looking for credit, not looking for accolades, but even as you have humbled yourself and worked in his house, increase comes your way. I, oh, I, heard, I saw a magnet, magnet, a magnet by, oh, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You begin to draw into your life. Everything you need. I 
I speak home purchases. I speak home purchases. Somebody's been looking for a house and they haven't found it yet. But I speak into your life right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that you find that you look oh I heard that God says I'm holding it God says I got it and I'm it is being held for you God says I got it and it's being held for you God says I got it and it's being held for you now I need you to understand something about this opportunity that just presented itself opportunities they don't come every day but this opportunity you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go after it you've been waiting and you've been waiting you've been waiting you've been waiting to see something but God says this this waiting to see something is based on what you have heard in other words the hearing is causing you to see the hearing is causing you to see and you shall move into that new home that you desire in the name of Jesus we pray for those I'm asking first lady to come up here I don't know how we're going to do this just come on up here I just let, let everything flow thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Sweated all over the microphone. She's gonna put on a mask. We kiss at home, y'all. Crazy. that he died and was raised from the dead, that you shall be saved. Amen. So repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross. Amen. And that you rose the third day. Hallelujah. With all power in your hands. Lord God, I receive you into my life as my personal savior today. I believe, hallelujah, that you washed all my sins away. Amen, that I'm a new person in you, in the name of Jesus. And I receive this right now, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Now, you might look in the mirror and say, what happened? But you have Jesus dwelling on the inside of you. You have the power of the Holy Ghost, amen. Now we invite you, amen, what you need to do starting from today and on is learning who you are in Christ Jesus. And you do that by finding a church that is teaching and preaching the word of God, amen. If you don't have a local church near you that you want to go to, we invite you to come and join us, hallelujah, every Sunday at 11 a.m. On Tuesday night, we have Bible study. And at this time, we're studying on a, uh, uh, a Bible study of spirit, soul, and body. And that lets you know who you are in Christ, the power that you have, amen, that how old things have passed away and all things are new, that you can begin to walk into the promises of God, amen, amen, amen. So we'd like to invite you to come to our Bible study. On Wednesday at 12 noon, we have noonday prayer, amen. And on Friday nights at 7 p.m., we have prayer. If you have any prayer requests that you would like to submit, I ask you to call area code 951-264-6681. Again, if you have a prayer request, call 951-264-6681. And once again, those of you that have received the Lord as your Savior, amen, contact us through that phone number, amen. 
and we can talk and we can counsel with you. Amen. And if you have any questions about what you did today, we can answer them for you. We thank you once again for joining us at our morning worship service. And we say that you have a blessed week and be blessed. Amen. God bless you. Amen.